outlet consider heat conduction in cylinders and spheres. Heat transfer through the pipe can be modeled as a steady and one-dimensional heat transfer. For example, imagine this is a pipe which is being used to transfer hot water. So heat transfer from the uh, inner surface of the pipe to outer surface can be considered as one dimensional heat transfer and a steady state because usually the temperature of the liquid or water which is flowing inside the pipe is constant and temperature outside is also constant and uh, it can be imagined to be in a steady condition so the temperature of the pipe depends on the one direction only it only depends the radius of the pipe so the change in the temperature in the pipe is only in our direction so we can say that temperature in the pipe as a cylindrical uh, coordination is only uh, dependent on radius so we can write t equal to tr or t as a function of the r to calculate um, heat transfer through cylindrical pipe which is its uh, inner radius is r1 and its outer radius is r2 in addition the temperature of the inner surface is t1 and the temperature of the outer surface is 2 and thermal conductivity of this pipe or cylindrical pipe is k we can write this equation according to previous uh, chapter you know that um, heat transfer through this uh, pipe according to the Fourier law of conduction can be written like this rate of heat transfer due to conduction in cylinder is equal to negative k minus k times a surface area surface area of heat transfer actually is um, in surface area in this direction time dt dr gradient of temperature in with uh, change in the radius by integration of both side of this equation from r1 to r2 from r1 to r2 by integration uh, which temperature at r1 is t1 temperature and in r2 is t2 we can write this integration before writing this integration we should also transfer this dr to the other side of this equation then by knowing that the a is equal to 2 pi times r times l 2 pi r is the perimeter of the cylinder times l the length of the pipe which gives us the surface area of heat transfer then by performing this integration we will have this equation or rate of heat uh, transfer by conduction for cylindrical shape like this 2 pi lk times t1 minus t2 divided by ln r2 divided by r1 by rearrangement of this equation and substitution r cylindrical or thermal resistant for or conduction resistant of the cylinder layer like this we can rewrite this uh, rate of heat transfer by conduction for cylindrical coordination T1 minus T2 divided by thermal resistance of the cylinder layer, which this uh, conduction resistance can be written like this. 
are cylindrical equal to ln r2 divided by ry divided by 2 pi lk. This part of the this equation. To calculate uh, thermal resistance of spheres with same procedure, we can find this equation. Rate of heat transfer rate of heat transfer for a cylinder for a spheres is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by thermal conduction resistance of the spherical layer which the which uh, t1 and t2 are the inner surface and outer surface temperature of the sphere and these conduction resistance of a spherical layer can be calculated by this equation R spherical equal to R2 minus R1 divided by 4 pi R1 R2 K. K is the thermal conductive coefficient of the material of the sphere, as this can be see here. Outer radius minus inner radius divided by 4 pi outer radius times inner radius times thermal conductivity of the material which the sphere is made of similar to the plane wall we can write uh, we can derive the equation for thermal resistance network for cylindrical or spherical when we have convection from in and outside imagine we have a sphere that uh, fluid is uh, inside pipe for example or a sphere and also we have the uh, fluid flowing outside of the sphere or cylinder then we can write this equation for a transfer of this material uh, for this coordination or this shape which can be cylinder or a sphere q dot equal to t infinity one minus t infinity two divided by r total t infinity one is the temperature of the fluid inside the cylinder or sphere t infinity 2 it's the uh, outside temperature r total or total thermal resistance for this cylinder or a sphere can be calculated like this as you can see here we have three thermal resistance convection heat transfer here so convection thermal resistant conductive thermal resistant in the sphere or cylinder and convection thermal resistance between the surface of the sphere or cylinder and the outside so thermal total thermal resistance is the summation of these three thermal resistance r convection one plus r cylinder plus r convection then we can write according to previous slide you know the value for these three substitution of the value of this tree thermal resistance we will have this equation for thermal resistance for the cylindrical cylindrical layer and for spherical layer we have this thermal resistance in both case when we have only one material for the if the cylinder is made from uh, one material or the sphere is made from one material we have only three resistance when we consider convection and conduction. Conduction in the sphere or cylinder, convection between the surfaces of the cylinder or sphere with the uh, inside of that cylinder or sphere and outside of that cylinder or sphere. So we have this total thermal resistance for the cylindrical layer and this total resistance for the spherical layer thermal resistance moreover we may have uh, a cylinder or a sphere which is made from uh, different material with different layer imagine this is a cylinder as you can see here it is made uh, it is composite cylinder and this is a section area or representative area of that it is 
made from three different material with three different thermal conductivity so only changes is the change in the ter conductive thermal resistance for the material and it will change like this this part is similar to uh, one layer cylinder or a sphere the convection is same only conduction is changed three materials so we have uh, three thermal resistance for each one of them so we can rewrite that like this total thermal resistance is uh, equal to convection thermal resistance our convection one here our convection two here between the surface the surface and the environment and three conductive thermal resistance thermal resistance for this are cylindric one thermal resistance for this material are cylindric two and this one are cylindrical three then the value is similar to the previous one uh, one layer cylinders convection one divided by h1 a1 for this part this uh, one divided by h2 a4 for this part and for the material number one we have this loan because we have cylindrical uh, thermal resistance then we can write for r1 r2 then for this we have we should write this equation for r2 r3 r2 r3 then for this one third material we should write for r4 r4 and r3 then similar to multi-layer uh, plane wall we can write this rate of heat transfer q dot equal to t infinity one t minus t infinity two t infinity one thermal inside the cylinder t infinity two temperature at the outside of the cylinder divided by r total r total can be calculated by this equation just notice that this equation is valid when your cylinder which here is composite cylinder is subjected to convention con is subjected to convection at both sides outer surface and inner surface moreover to calculate the temperature at each intersection can be calculated like plane wall once it transferred q has been calculated the interface temperature t2 can be determined determined from any of the following two relations exactly similar to the plane wall like this q dot equal to t infinity one minus t infinity two divided by r convection plus r cylinder this is for interface number two by substitution of our convection from previous slide you can find them and our cylindrical one you can calculate t2 this is given this is also now we know t infinity one we know also q dot or rate of heat transfer then we can calculate t2 in this equation only t2 is unknown either we can use this equation when we are going to use t infinity 2 the differences between these two is the direction of the calculation we can write similar to this equation you are ready i think if you review the previous slide you can find that we can write this was for plane one plane while t i t j divided by r i to j r total actually r total from i to j so here you can see here when uh, we have q dot equal to t infinity one minus t infinity minus uh, t one here to here how much is the r total i is t infinity one 
tj is t1 so the r total from i to j is only r convection is also this is equal to t infinity 1 minus t2 t infinity 1 minus t2 divided by r total from i is t infinity 1 this time j is 2 t infinity 2 so we have two term r resistance what about t1 minus t3 t1 minus t3 i is 1 j is 3 we have r1 and r2 what about this q dot equal to t2 minus t3 divided by t2 minus t3 divided by r to i j r from i to j only r2 then and so on so to calculate temperature at each interface also we can use same procedure 